as well. Attorney General Eric Holder, uh, who despite the ruling we got from the Supreme Court just a few weeks ago on the Voting Rights Act, uh, making his pronouncement that he intends still to go after a number of states, including Texas, uh, regardless of that Supreme Court decision. So what is to limit the executive branch? Uh, you're right. This is the most partisan Justice Department we've ever seen. On voter ID, the Attorney General has essentially said he's going to defy the Supreme Court and ignore the law. And, and the question you ask is critical. The most important check that Congress has on an overreaching executive is the power of the purse. And that's why the next 63 days matter so much. In 63 days, the continuing resolution expires. That's what funds government right now. I have publicly pledged, along with Senator Mike Lee, Senator Marco Rubio, a number of others, that I will, under no circumstances, support a continuing resolution that funds even one penny of Obamacare. If we can get 41 Republicans in the Senate to stand together, or 218 Republicans in the House to stand together, we can successfully defund Obamacare on 